everyone, Rock here. And let's just say something that you already know. Cybersecurity risk has to be treated as an enterprise risk versus just an IT risk that those tech guys will handle. The usage of the cloud and other transformational technologies such as the Internet of Things has exploded across organizations. And all that has increased your attack surface and has also increased the likelihood of an attack. Protecting all data, workflows, and processes all of the time is impractical, especially considering the constantly evolving threat landscape and the dynamic nature of most companies' organizational structure, strategy, and board level involvement. The odds of success in doing so are exceedingly low and the cost infeasibly high. Due to ongoing high profile cybersecurity breaches and incidents, the Securities and Exchange Commission established a cyber enforcement division that has published numerous documents offering guidance for boards of directors. The new guidance covers disclosure obligations relating to cybersecurity risks and incidents. If you want results, you need to start at the top, not the bottom. There is a better way. Cybersecurity risk should, no, no, must be integrated into the firm's enterprise risk management program to address the challenges around security and privacy in today's global landscape. The goal of an ERM program is to understand an organization's tolerance for risk, categorize it, and quantify it. Many organizations, however, do not have a formal ERM program, but someone is undoubtedly responsible for risk. This may be the general counsel or the chief financial officer, but at any rate, find them and make them your friend. Risk is secondary to their primary roles. Help them help themselves. They have most likely wanted to form a formal ERM program, but have neither the time nor the knowledge. Volunteering to help them ensures that cybersecurity risk is part of the enterprise risk plan. So what's next? Well, back to the board of directors. BODs love best practices and frameworks versus the perception that you're making it up as you go. So in 2017, the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission, or COSO for short, redeveloped their ERM framework. This framework now addresses the fact that business risk has evolved to include cyber risk. Some benefits of using this framework to integrate cyber risk into your ERM program include securing the involvement of senior leadership and the board in cybersecurity initiatives, better alignment of cybersecurity with strategic business objectives, raising cybersecurity's profile within the organization to provide a more accurate view of risk, tailoring risk profile to reflect specific threats to the organization and the industry as a whole, increasing visibility and transparency to drive better identification and treatment of risk, and finally, more cost-effective risk treatment. The COSO ERM framework details guiding principles that are broken into five risk management components. They are governance and culture, strategy and objective setting, performance, review and revision, information, communication, and reporting. So notice that these objectives tie as much to your executive leadership team and board of directors as they do to your function. So can you really afford to not be the leader in this transformative way of addressing cyber risk? Over the next several weeks, I will be discussing how managing cybersecurity risk can be weaved and molded into these five components. I look forward to your comments, but if you want to have a discussion in the meantime, please just drop me a note and we can set something up. Stay tuned.